Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be installing the Canon Maxify MB2320 software and simultaneously installing on our network. Now, we're going to do something a little different this time. Uh, normally, we would uninstall every non necessary unnecessary printer before we would install software for a new one and as you can see we have mb2000 software from the uh, mb2020 already installed on, on on the on this particular printer so we're going to try to see what happens when we try to install a second Canon MB2000, MB2320 printer, and uh, find out what ha find out what happens. Now, you'll see on the install programs, add remove programs. There's already a whole bunch of Canon stuff on here. Ten ten items altogether, and. We're also going to be following this up with the installation of an HP OfficeJet Pro 8610 to see what happens when we add it to this. So, um, I wouldn't expect it to duplicate all of this, but I want to see how well it, it, it deals with having a second printer uh, involved um, from the same series on a, on a single computer. So, let's put this away and run the setup and in the meantime we can look at this cool picture i really don't know what it is but it's pretty cool looking looks like people standing on paddle boards down here okay all right now they're calling it the max 2300 series i believe the cd rom says 2000 series on it but it doesn't really matter so you can set your language here next now we had this hooked up previously um, prior to this we had the printer hooked up via wireless networking so it shouldn't have too much trouble finding it I assume this is it so let's let's go it doesn't see well actually the 2000 is not plugged in and turned on uh, the 2020 so maybe um, you go back and you'll wait while I turn that on okay I turned it on plugged it in and turned it on and let's see what happens now next okay it's still only found the uh, one printer that we need to install which is a good sign next okay um, we might as well install everything I don't need the XPS driver and we don't need this additional dictionaries there's a select all clear all next and license agreement I don't agree but I have to um, allow the installation wizard process uh, if your firewall block pops up during the process you want to do permit allow yes or unblock all right now it's saying installation process one percent about 12 minutes until completion with the 2020 this took less time than 12 minutes it was actually reasonably quick so now it's installing the MP drivers. Moving right along, it's installing the uh, user manual. And oh, by the way, the online user manual was over 1,100 pages on the uh, MB2020. Uh, now it's installing my printer, and the manual was a PDF. It wasn't a um, web-based manual. Installing the speed dial utility, we're up 50%. And a quick toolbox is being installed. Uh, hopefully, not two of these is going to get installed. Uh, it should only require one. And that's why we're doing this to find out what happens 
The Easy Web Print EX is being installed. Okay, the process stopped. We have a shortcut for the user guide up here. A bunch of registrations information should pop up. Searching for printers again. And it's communicating, registering the print driver and fax driver, scanner driver, the network utilities, scanner driver once again. There's WIA and Twain scanner drivers, in case you're wondering. Setup has been completed really quick I love it complete setup complete user registration is next now we only use these printers for a couple days so I generally I generally don't go through all of this the only way to get through this is click register now and then it asks me to find Since I'm not doing it automatically, it's asking me to find the product manually, and if this is like the last time, it's not on the list, so you would have to go um, back here to complete login, I don't have a login, create an account, and then register, so I'm not going to do that. And there's no way to skip this anyhow, anyway, so I'm just going to have to put it away. Extended survey program. Uh, what this means is that it'll send your uses information over to Canon. In case of using your Canon product in China to the legally approved research company. Canon request has the information below related to your Canon product be sent to Canon in case of using your Canon product in China to the legally. I guess it can't do it in China, but I don't want them to do it either. Like I said, we'll only be using them for a couple days at the most, and I do not agree. and it wants me to do a test print i don't want to waste the ink or the paper because um, i'm sure it's hooked up correctly next exit okay so the or the cd rom popped out all by itself which is a nice feature because i always forget to take them out and then it's asking us if we want to set up the facts from here you can set up all of these really cool remote printers, uh, print from Maxify Cloud, send to Evernote, print from Google Cloud Print, print from Air, Apple Air Print from your iPhone or iPad, print via email attachment, check the network connection of, your, of, of the printer, set your scan to shared folder options and, and send faxes to shared folder options and it gives you the ability to install a, a, optional solutions photo print plus uh, manage using quick toolbox access to creative park creative park premium service uh, the inkjet print utility and then some uh, Maxify printing solutions from smartphone or tablet. Okay, this is basically a website that you'll get from the, um, you could get to from within all of the software as well. Now, let's go and look and see what get, got installed. Uh, it's a two new uh, so you see the new here, the on-screen manual and the registration. You can see that the 2000 stuff is still here. All the utilities 
are here and they're not listed as new, so that's a good sign. Let's go to install the program. And you can see that all the utilities have been are still there with the addition of different drivers, manual and registration. So that's a really good sign. That means I didn't have to install all this 2000 stuff before I installed the 2300. And as far as the software goes, let's take a look at that again. We review all of this, this stuff uh, on the MB2020, uh, second half of the MB2020 network and software installation video, if you want to see what all this looks like. With the exception of, we weren't able to access the embedded web server. And let's see if I can remember how to do it easy way and yeah and where we found out that we had to okay here's the 2020 embedded web server and we found out when we were doing the 2020 that you need to set this admin password from the control panel before you uh, begin the uh, installation so that said i did not set the username and password on the 2320 but i did on the 2020 and this is what the the uh, embedded web server looks like it's called remote ui and uh, I expect it to be identical for the 2320 as well as uh, the other Maxify products. So you have your printer status, you have all of your utilities, cleaning, head alignment, quiet settings, uh, language selection, your air print settings for printing from uh, iPad or, or um, iPhone, the Google Cloud print settings you can use to print from your PC anywhere in the world you can print to your printer sitting in your office print from email same thing you send an email attachment from any device anywhere in the world and it'll print the attachment out on this printer that's in your home or home office or office cloud printing set center setup uh, where you can use a Canon inkjet cloud printing feature to print uh, the documents that are in the cloud. Uh, your security, which is pretty, also has operation restrictions where you can not uh, choose to disable the following features here. Uh, records of use tells you what's been used, how many pages, and this is a, a 2020, so we did some stuff on here and showing you how many sheets we printed. Uh, on the, the 2320 that I just installed, we, we haven't printed anything on it yet, so number of sheets used. Uh, we haven't done any faxes. I don't know what other functions are. Copying, probably or not yeah and the number of sheets scanned uh, that's both copying and scanning i imagine because we did some scanning tests and then you can do a firmware update uh, so that's what the embedded web server looks like and um you know we couldn't show you it on the 2020 but we're now we're showing you on the 2320 and uh, we expect it to be the same for other machines so that's it. Uh, it's all pretty straightforward. Like I said, if you want to check and see what what's involved with all of this, all of this software here, you know, take a look at the MB2020 software and network installation video. And we go through all of these utilities and what they look like, as well as the print drivers. In fact, let's take a quick look at them and 
make sure that there really is not much of a difference or shouldn't be between the 2320 and the 2000 2020 okay uh, everything looks pretty much the same Doesn't like us opening them at the same time, but from what? Oh, here we go. This is the 2000, and it's a good thing that they look identical because if you have these installed in your office, you would want all of the Maxify models to have the exact same interface so that. You only have to train everybody once. So, okay, that's it. Basically, uh, uh, really easy to do, and uh, uh, nice job by Canon.